All right, we're back. We're gonna go speak to, to this. Um, where am I going? Out here? Yeah. So we're gonna go talk to who is it? Oliver Campbell. Let's see what we can figure out there. Can you guys see that screen tearing that I experience as well? I'm pretty sure it's only possible with capture cards. I don't know if software captures that. I'll find out. Executive floor, mm, very nice. Maybe I can buy a place here too, that'd be cool. Ah, oh, much better frame rates, no more peasantry going on. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Um, I kind of do. You have a problem with a ship and I'm here to help. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? No, I'm good. Sure. Put me in. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. Is Mark Cuban there or something? What, what's going on? Where's Mark Cuban? I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. Shut Obviously, up. I'm not like the other board members, lying about the beaches without a care in the universe. I like that. Um, I need to talk to you. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. He's quick. Welcome. Welcome. Normally, I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'll take I'm both. Gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. What do you mean? You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Oh, Come that's true. To the aliens. That's quite human. Save us a song and dance. They're calling us from Earth. I know what we need to do. Ah, Starborn. Ah, oh, so it's a colony ship of sorts. Finally, more dialogue. Wonderful. It complicates things a bit. As much as I appreciate you showing some initiative, we'll need to discuss this with the present board members and come up with a plan to our liking. Now, sure thing. tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. True. They could stay here, temporarily, but it'll cost them. Come on. Quite a bit too. I'm worth more they than this whole place. Come on, guys. Before being allowed to leave. Uh, oh, my kitty's here. Not. What if we help hey, no them scratching. get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, I and can. it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. They don't use cred sticks, guys. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. <laughs> anyway, I love this guy. Got the right idea. Either works for me. Just... Cease to exist? Not. Oh, cease to exist. Oh. I thought he was talking about the board members because they seem annoying too. I didn't know he was talking about the settlers. Well, that's pretty funny too. Indentured servants. Yeah, we all know what happens there. I could buy the grav drive. And I just settle on the other side. We own this planet. They don't. The whole thing? Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. Yeah, they're idiots. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Hmm. Ooh. These are human beings and you're worried about landscaping. That's absurd. It really is. I understand your point from a business stance. I really do. But I do disagree because it's still a stupid business stance. Um... No worries, mate, but my time is valuable. Uh, I could buy your time, my guy. Thanks for the offer, but my answer is still no. What? Too much risk involved. If they settle here, it'll be under our conditions. Not what if after all this, they still insist it because they are human, they start a war, and then you get Space Hitler. You don't really want Space Hitler, right? Uh, fine, I'll... Tell them to take the deal. Right. Assuming they agree to the terms, I've got a list of resources you'll need to gather and bring back so we can support the new arrival. Can I just give you money? We'll need to improve our lodging and infrastructure. 
Plus account for future projects to support an increased population. That's like 20 people. Okay, how you procure them? Just make sure to bring them here with you before we can consider this a done deal. Oh, how can we treat these people this way? Right. I'll be uh, yeah, I actually agree with her there. Now he's like, oh, bring in resources because our rich asses cannot afford more people that will literally live on your resort. Fuck's sake, you guys are idiots. Excuse me. You. Uh. Oh, you're the. Okay. Sure. Fuck's sake. Safe out there. Good God. Fucking shit. Fuck. Suckers. I just feel that we should. Okay. Hold on. I'll on the... take some more drugs. Skip this dialogue, and we're gonna. Well, there's not really any persuasive actions here. Um. Natural beauty of this planet. Not I'll be back. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't think I actually want these poor people who spent 200 years traveling through space, literally raising a, a second generation of family to deal with these people because they are actually quite dickheads here. And this is pretty much Vegas, apparently. So I'll buy them the grab drive and they could go somewhere better than your dumbass little paradise. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. Because I'm rich. Over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have... I know this was a difficult it's decision. It's not difficult. But if it's any consolation, I think you've made the right choice. Compared to the destruction of their vessel... I don't really care about the premise of it. I just don't want these 200-year-old Earth people to deal with these even worse dickheads. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group... We appreciate your help. I sure hope you do, bro. There are millions of planets out there. True. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are... Okay. So, let's go, um... We're gonna put a twin-turbo, um, LSX in their... fucking... Model T. Pretty much what's going on here. And... I don't think oh, this looks like a lovely place for a stay. Well, hey, this is my Why business. Do I get a discount here? To stop for some food or a tranquility. Welcome to tranquility. Where should we begin? If you fancy a cuppa, we have some new and classic blends that are sure to satisfy even Papa. the most discerning tea aficionado. Whether you want to relax at the end of the day or energize yourself while watching the latest Red Mile feed. Bro, you must be getting paid good. Hi, that's the spirit. It's not like you'll find a better drink over at Cafe Lux, am I right? So, what can I get for you today? Old stiff one. What's your pleasure today? Um, all of it. XP gain? What? Ha! <laughs> Shit. I mean, not that that really matters for me, but if I was like... For choosing us over Kathy Lux over there. Is this? I wish I had booked a stay for longer. Is that literally Cafe Lux? Right, right here. She can hear you, fuckhead. Or he can hear you. Sorry. The secret to that new drink. I might need to enlist outside help. Ah, okay. We'll we'll come back for that. Well, there's plenty of side quests to do here, apparently, as with every other place. Um. So let's go, let's go figure out this grab drive thing and just get that moving along here. This place looks like a fucking volcano. Right, am I, am I supposed to be walking over here? What am I doing? Oh no, okay. Why does it tell me to go over there? What the fuck is wrong with this nav system, bruh? Right. Let's get this Welcome to Free Star space. space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Alright, that's cool it. Cool station. Welcome to Hope Town. Hope Town? Uh wait a minute. Is this a cult? Ooh, I, I just remembered. Landing I gotta finish detailing my car. I wasn't even done. 
Ah, we'll get there. All right. Who's that? Pardon. All right, Adela. Deep breath. Oh God. Well, what's up? I'm just great. Grand, really. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. <laughs> what? Or worse. Captain Two. You are sincerely the answer to my prayers. So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. Just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock, and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? Yes, I'm a I'm a mechanic. I'm a technician. That that happens all the time. That is literally the story of my life. Wow. Look at this, it's so relatable. I'm interested. You get it then. I do. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I By the way, I'm talking about real life, scanned, of course. That's things my specialty in my work. Crazy. Spacers, free star security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down. Hand over the contraband. Or <laughs> sometimes just firing first. <laughs> I skip the system, ditch the cargo. I've been running ever since. Damn, that sucks, actually. That's terrible. It gets even worse. It does? A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. Are you sure? But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. Hmm. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? Hell yeah. You are the best. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. I remember meeting Ron Hope once. Idealistic oh. and perhaps a bit of a dream. Ron Hope. This place <laughs> is a cult. You have to admire what he's accomplished. Like Virgin Galactic shit. Jeff Bezos or something up here. Fucking Richard Branson shit going on here. Excuse let's me. get into Hope Tech first. And let's let's continue. We're, we're getting so sidetracked, but I love that. That is my favorite part of this so let's let's keep going Ron Hope, sir. i don't take stairs i'm a ceo no oh hello i'm not used to people wanting to talk to me <laughs> sure that sounds like me what can i do for you i'm a little busy but uh, i think i could spare some time um campbell sent me i'm here to put an lsx on a model t you just said that. I just did. Of course I can help you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. Gas monkey garage. Some research on ships from that era. And I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. Correct a mundo. But I've got access to an ancient grab drive that looks like it could be compatible. With some minor adjustments. It's in good shape. Parts not cheap though. Neither is the labor. I mean, I've got 40,000, but let's get some speech checks going. It's a pretty big ask. You believe in karma. That's plus six. I don't even need it. The Waddies bought that part, have they? Maybe it oh. is selfish of me to demand such a price. It is. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. Boom. Deal. Seems very reasonable. Thank you. You're done. Right it is. I'll get to work on it right away. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Okay. Does good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Thanks, brother. Um, pretty good. All right. I don't want to hear any complaints. I don't want to hear your fucking attitude, bitch. Bro is literally a mall cop and said he didn't want to hear complaints. Shh. 
Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. What the? What is going on here? Oh. <laughs> I'm a retar. See, from this angle, it looked... Okay, whatever. I'm just a fucking retar. Look at the view of this place, though. It's a... Uh... Just take a look around. Let's go all the way up. Oh, that's quite far up. Take a look around. I'm taking sidetracking to the maximum. They got a bunch of nuts on their roof. Stepping on their nuts right now. Um, see if I can parkour my way up this thing. Fuck, that might be a tall order. Can I climb this? Good. I love parkour. Hold on, let me stand on this. Okay, boost back. One, two, four. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No. Hold on. No, you fucker. Okay. Just take a look around like this. That is pretty beautiful, I gotta say. Let's go over here. For Creation Engine 2, and still using LODs and stuff like that. This looks pretty nice. This area doesn't seem to be running at peasant frame rate, so it's pretty good. Pretty damn good. I like it. Okay. Back to it. Let's go back to the ship. Fuck, I got contusions. Shit. There. Oh, that's good. Maybe I should just keep doing that over and over again. Alright, we'll get there. Now we're going all the way over here again. I know I am, in fact. Do I have to go out here to click on this little stupid icon? Why does it not show on both menus? Another stupidity. Moving on. Watch this, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I hit about 32 PSI right there. It's pretty good. Yeah, well, only 100 shot of nitrous. Right. I mean, the E85 Let's can only go so far. Um, anyways. Nope, well, let's press the wrong button. I still have contusions? Do they take a while to heal? What's, what's, that, what's that crazy one? Forgot about that too. That's pretty cool. Also, we're gonna do some um, unarmed boss mode stuff at some point. Where's where's the shit? Where's the? Okay, now it went away. Whatever. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict. Ah! Never seen a ship like you. Can I go up from here? Yeah. Wow, I, I've heard about you, but here you are. Now where am I going? Fuck, I hate navigation. Just stay out of trouble. Come on, I can't jump through there. Bullshit! I'm great at Bethesda games and dungeons, but not so much in like. What? See, why does it just disappear like that? Okay. Hello. Keeping a 200-year-old sheep running is no easy task. Yeah, I'd imagine. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space. And oh, this guy's you awesome. Are. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Don't worry, I have unlimited he time. Me just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster-than-light travel and eclipse our poor old sheep? Oh. 
Yeah, we have um, gravity drive technology. I could talk in depth about the physics of it all. Oh, I've heard of this technology, but always believed it was theoretical in nature. Maybe we can talk about it in more detail later. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to handle. I've waited this long. What's a little longer, eh? Exactly. Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. I already know it. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Whatever, I'm Todd Howard. Yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. Supposed to help you uh, prep this shit out. What grab drive? <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> Just joking with you. I actually believed him for a second. Engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right. This will be fun, and hopefully there will be no explosions. I have just received word that the drive is. Yep. Um, I've already got experience. You do? Well, this should be. You a look at my ship. Though I must remind you, the ship is much older than the ones you're likely used to working on. I like so working on old shit. Me first. Trust me. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Sure. Then. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's do it. All right. Wow. So, power from, you said cryo pump port, right? Reroute power to auxiliary radiator? No, port. Reroute power to the primary. Carbo. Wait a minute. Why? Gamma. Okay, I got that done. And then he did say, um, Starboard cryo pump to the auxiliary auxiliary. Hold on. The fuck? I, I literally heard him say from pump to radiator, but From the port pump to auxiliary. Yeah! That's what the fuck I did the first time. What the fuck is this talking about? That was the first thing you mentioned. Why is it not letting me do it? Oh, I see. More to learn about now. Perhaps I had to do that first. Fuck, wrong menu. So turn the plasma runoff inhibitor to 5%. 5%. Didn't I just reduce by 5%? This rotation of. Oh, shit. There's a fucking scroll down. To check it over carefully. That was more obvious. Ah! Turbo pump, not cryo pump. Fuck the. That is the most unobvious fucking scroll bar. Oh, there was an option down there too. Fuck's sake. It is. Okay, for shit's sake, I just had like a, a stroke. That was like an SAT, man. That was an SAT moment right there. 
I promise you I'm actually great at working on cars, but this is... All right, quick save. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad. Oh, look at this. Wow, they sure didn't change their look much, huh? Brackenridge. That sounds so familiar. Something from history slates that I've read. Oh, I feel I should know who this person is, but somehow it's escaped my memory. Yeah, me too. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. Rupert and then Rupert L. So he took the L and he took the W, huh? We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. All set up. You good. Well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. There you go. Thank you again for all you've done. Look at that. Look at us. No problem at all, man. Glad it worked. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. Go infinity and I'll beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. I have to, man. Scouts advance XM2311. Antique Earth Baseball. Oh, no way. Antique Piggy Bank. Alrighty. Antique Earth Soccer Ball. I love antiques. Oh. Antique Earth. Set a course then. Basketball. We'll go and take a look. Perhaps this will be the one. What's she doing? She's having a seizure. Guys. Then we'll do as the Paradiso group suggested and commission a landing craft to ferry our people down. Now that we know there are other people out we there, to? we've roamed we the stars for almost 200 for years. What's a little longer? Oh, so where are you going, by the way? Goodness, I'm not sure yet. We'll need to study our new star map. Then, well, I suppose we'll venture forth and try to find the perfect new home for us. It may take some time, but I'm confident we'll find something. And when we do, we'll find a shuttle to take us planet side. Alrighty. Thanks again for your help. Well, keep me updated. I'm trying to slide through my 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 fam. I'm trying to slide through, G. I'm trying to go to this new planetary getty we got going on here. You're lucky we're underwater down right off this ship. Okay. I'm not taking any of that. Did you say that? Careful waving that fancy gun around. We don't need to see what it can do. Well you're about to, because you just spoke wrong. No. You guys are all idiots. Imagine the quick save broke. <laughs> Ooh. Alright. In this universe now, you watch your tone. Bitch. Bitch ass ho. Alright. Head to my crew position. So, Ryujin. <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty fun little side mission. Well, since we got sidetracked, we'll continue with Ryujin this next episode here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that little side mission of a side mission of a side mission. And we also got a few more side missions. We'll be back at Paradiso for more. Don't let me forget, because I will. But this has been pretty fun. Let's get back to Ryujin and see what we can do about this bitch-ass company. See you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.